these. Let's talk about these standards of beauty. America got y'all trying to live up to. And y'all look on TV, right? And y'all look at all the pageants and this, that, and the third. And, and, and you know, people used to be trying to trim fat off. And now today, everybody is getting uh, lip surgery, trying to make their lips poofy, trying to make their, you know, a stronger cheekbone, nip, you know, nip and tuck. You know, they getting, uh, 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 you used to get breast reduction. Now they getting breast implants. They getting Botox implants, thigh implants. The, uh, uh, changing their body. Y'all ever seen, I'm going to get your sucker. And he had that pretty woman in the red, right? <laughs> and, you know, he, he want to go back in the back with her, you know, get up out of the club with her. And, you know, they go to the spot. And when he get to the spot, you know, he like take everything off and take everything. She started taking her them hair off. She started taking her eye uh, contacts out, her damn legs and she yeah, had plastic legs and arms and start jumping towards the brother. <laughs> That's what y'all is, mate. Trying to follow this standard of beauty. So that's why these people be bleaching. Now you got uh 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 the Europeans tanning. And you got the black people bleaching. You see what I'm saying? Both parties are confused, mate. Facts. Listen to me now. You know, the the poofy lips and all of that. The, the, the thick thighs, the wide thighs. Now, we know, you know, the European women usually look like an ironing board, mate. Because even in the 1800s, in they dresses, they would put wire. You see, y'all seen them, them colonial times and all that in England and all that. They had the, the dresses with the wire in it to try to make their butt, butt look fatter. Now, y'all heard the story of Sarah Bartman, right? So, you know, every year, you know, in England, you know, they, they celebrate this woman's birthday. But they make a cake of this woman and all her nice features, and they eat them. You see what I'm saying? Now, this woman was, you know, took out of Africa or wherever and, 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 and was, uh, you know, took on a tour all around the world because of her amazing features. You see what I'm saying? See, they, you know, today, you know, that was, you know, then that was, you know, amazing and wow look at these you know buttocks and breastesses and the uh, uh uh succulent lips that this woman got you know and she was took on a circus all around the world you see what i'm saying and story is that they actually ate her i'm just telling you but we're talking about these standards of beauty man so the standards of beauty today you know it, it, one culture is looking at it one way and another culture is looking at it another way. Now you see white women walking around, you know, looking like Laquisha from the block. You know what I'm saying? She got tights on, ass way out here, man. And it be Kim Kardashian, uh, 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 her sister, Chloe, all of them, they went and got some big booties. You see what I'm saying? But see, in a uh, uh, modeling, you couldn't even look. Have them curvy shapes like the black woman is naturally with. See, the black woman don't, that's one thing she don't have to do. She don't have to really, you know, it's certain exceptions, but the typical black woman don't have to go get no surgeries, man. Because she, the, the, the typical body type that they like today, you see what I'm saying, is the uh, black woman phenotype. You see what I'm saying? And all the white people now, they you look at them now, they're going to get the uh uh lip lip implants and butt implants and hip implants, trying to mimic the shape of the black woman. Now I say they doing that shit to attract black men because that's no they know what we like. You see what I'm saying? They know what we like. They finally figured it out. Cause you know, in a tan and all of that. You see, she she got that dark look. 
and then but she got the booty and then but she got that straight hair see we got that black men got that thinking in their head where well, they only like you know women with straight hair you see what i'm saying I, so the black women know that down they, they got everything else but the straight hair and the light skin so what they ain't got they go cosmetically manufactured and put that all on their body and now they got a little bath that they could just dip you in and just rub your skin with a towel and just the melanin to come out i mean it look gross fam like the just the skin was coming off but you know these standards of beauty was different 10 years ago you see what i'm saying you had black women trying to you know fit into the modeling industry if you look at naomi campbell man she was the size of a toothpick fam trying to fit into they what they thought was beautiful you see what i'm saying and 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 and, and, and you know they was getting reductions on everything they was getting lip reductions they was getting nose making they try and make their nose look pointy michael jackson you see what i'm saying he ain't the only one was a lot of them but see the today they trying to they getting their nose wide they trying to look like you and you trying to look like them you see what i'm saying so the standards of beauty is confused one culture don't want to admit the white people that they want to look like black people and have black skin then the black people will admit <laughs> you know what i'm saying and some won't, but some will admit that they want to look like them so they can get a better job, this, that, and the third. You see what I'm saying? So the standards of beauty is confused in America. Both cultures done been around each other culture so long. That's why you see white girls and white people walking around with dreads, man. Or whatever that is. You see what I'm saying? Because it don't look the same as the... You trying to tell me they hair look like mine, man. Them people be like... Let me touch your hair. I be like, uh-uh. You see what I'm saying? Uh-uh-uh. Don't ever let them people touch your hair. What? Hell nah. Don't touch my head, man. Facts. You can look, but just don't touch. You know, they be fascinated with black hair, man. And then the next thing you know, they walking down the street with a bunch of rubber bands in their head and a bunch of goop they done put in their head trying to lock it up. You see what I'm saying? And... Hey, they they want to be like the best, baby. They want to look like the best, baby, the sun babies. You see what I'm saying? Though they done put in, you know, in they for if they, they, they uh, education system that everything black is bad. But if you look at them and you study them, they want to be black people. It's just hard for them to come out and say that, man. You see what I'm saying? Black don't crack. You see, I done heard them say that. That pay, I don't like this play, pale white skin. You see, that's why they go to the beach every year to get that tan. Well, that's psychological, man. And I'm not picking on them. I would want to be black too. Because there's no way in the world I would want to wake up in the morning and be a white man. Man, I couldn't. I wouldn't even want to be on the planet. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I was born white, then I don't know how I would feel. But, uh... Being a black man, either or a black woman and something like that, you wake up white man in the morning, you gonna go jump off the Brooklyn Bridge because you gonna know something wrong. You done lost your God and all of that, then lost the beauty and all that. And then see, they look at all them ancient cultures and all of that history. And they hide that's that's why they hide it, man. Because, you know, to accept that it's like, damn. They the great. That's why they got to boost up their history and put all kind of lies in there to control the standards of beauty and the what 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 what, what the world gonna look at is beautiful. That's facts. That's though they show you a white woman in Vogue. What's really in the psychology though? What's really in the psychology of them people, man? You see, what's in the psychology of black people when they got blue contacts and all of that? See what they, they ain't doing. They not watching the people that's controlling everything. If you watch the people in control of everything, you will love your African features and your brown and black skin, no matter how dark, no matter how brown. You know what I mean? So the standards of beauty over here need to be a, a, a revamp and re-looked at. Y'all like, subscribe, and share. Job power coming back.